Yo, what's up guys, Sitchko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna be playing with a new Lockbait deck, which is gonna revive Lockbait in the current meta. I haven't really seen anyone play Lockbait in the current meta, just because it's not that good. But I feel like I found a deck which is actually very strong in the meta right now. I'm talking about this Lockbait deck without a big spell. So many pressure cards, so many bait cards. As you guys can see, we have the wall breakers, we have so many spammy cards. Evil Knight and the Little Prince, which is actually super strong in the current meta right now. And I feel like Little Prince fits very well in Lockbait because many times with the ability, you can afterwards, for example, go Goblin Barrel while the Wardian is tanking. You can maybe go with some Wall Breakers behind it. In general, it just has a lot of yeah, synergy. I'm going to be playing on my secondary account. I was using this deck on my main account just say night. Don't have it fully maxed on my main account and still managed to get, I think it was like top 60, top, uh, top 50 in the world with this bait deck. So I'm going to be playing it today. Trying to get yeah closer to League 10. I haven't really been pushing my secondary account, but I would like to try and push it up all the way to League 10 ASAP and then afterwards also get on top of the leaderboard with the secondary account. So let's hop into the first match. Looks like our opponent has Skeleton King. I'm gonna go Rescos here. Looks like he goes Arrow, so we can go Little Prince. And then, okay, I'm gonna prepare the ability. I'm gonna wait a little bit and then I'm gonna ability now as soon as the Elite Barbarians get closer. He also goes for the um, ability of a Skeleton King. We can go Princess here just to help clean up the Skellies. But I don't think, yeah, I don't think it was even necessary. Little Prince was actually doing a really good job at cleaning up everything. But anyways, he's gonna respond, well, he's gonna have to respond to the princess here. Let's see what he's gonna do. Okay, so far, okay, nice. I don't think we get it on time. No, we don't get it on time, but now we know that he has Skeleton Army. So next time I'm gonna have the lock ready. And then whenever you have the lock ready and you're fast enough, you can actually protect the princess at the bridge whenever they scar me it. So yeah, good to know. Okay, looks like he goes with his Lumberjack plus Balloon combo. Warbreak is on the right side, we'll get a connection. We do need to watch out because he has arrows. Yeah, I was about to say, he's probably going to arrow those Rescos. Balloon does get onto the tower for two shots, but now he's going to have to defend the left side. And he spent, yeah, a lot of elixir. He spent nine elixir on the push. And then afterwards, he also went with the arrows, which of course is also quite a lot of elixir. So actually, the left side tower is already going to go down thanks to the counter push we had there. And then now we can just go Little Prince and look, I guess, if he goes for ability. Let's see if he does. Okay, looks like he doesn't. Wait, he does. I'm actually gonna pop ability here, I think. Just to afterwards be able to maybe pressure a little bit on top of the three ground. Or if he ignores it, that's gonna be a lot of damage, actually. I think right play here is to go wall breakers. Okay, wait. Let's wait a little bit. Let's then go princess here. And let's then go wall breakers here to try and kite the elite barbarians. Perfect. Really nice placement. I could have maybe went for... Okay, nice. I was about to say, I could have maybe went for a prediction lock, but luckily for us, he we didn't, and good for him that he didn't, um, yes, scar me. Okay, let's go knight here, let's go little prince. Knowing that he has arrows, he's probably gonna just arrow this. Okay, he also has flying machine. Interesting deck by him, by the way. Let's go rescos here. There you go, he uses the arrows. Wait, we can maybe get a really good ability here. Wait, is he gonna scar me? Okay, let's go lock prediction now, knowing that he probably is gonna scar me afterwards, so really nice lock prediction there. Uh, let's go wall breakers. Let's go evil knight in the middle as well. Wall breakers should be able to connect to the tower. We'll be able to get a good amount of damage. And then I'm just gonna keep up the pressure by going with another goblin barrel. He still needs to take down our tower. So yeah, there you go. He goes with lumberjack. He's probably gonna go with a balloon sometime soon. Okay, he also goes with arrows. We can probably go with a goblin gang here just to um, cycle towards the lane he's attacking in. We can go with a lock. And then I'm gonna. I don't know if we need to knight actually. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna knight just to be sure. Um, do not lose the tower anyways, there's not much time left, so that's gonna be a very nice victory against a strange, yeah, Lumber Loon deck, kind of a uh, off-meta version, of course, as I said, I'm still pretty low on my secondary account, haven't really pushed up that high um, yet, but I would like to start pushing it, and then also I would like to start getting on top of the leaderboard, it's kind of hard to make content on other um, yeah, type of decks, when you don't have everything level 15, so hopefully you guys understand it. Let me know in the comment section down below, by the way, if you guys would like to rather see, for example, some... Um, yeah, grand challenge videos or what you guys think is like the best content when you don't have a, a max like fully or a deck fully maxed out, I should say. Okay, so I guess our opponent is running, maybe it's recruits. I think it might be recruits or just some kind of like lock bait deck. Okay, looks like it's just going to be some kind of double barrel lock bait deck. He has Valkyrie, he has Dark Goblin, Skelly Barrel and Goblin Barrel. So that's going to be fun. Lock bait against lock bait here. Okay, he goes with Princess. I'm assuming that he doesn't have a big spell. If he's running the deck, I think he's running. I don't think he has a big spell in there. So that's going to be good for us. Okay, I'm going to Princess just to help the little prince. And then afterwards, I can maybe go with ability um, if needed. If not, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, he spent Lock. We might actually be able to ability plus Goblin Barrel. 
And I kind of wanted to pre-lock knowing that he has Skarmy, but I don't know. Okay, I think it would have been worth it. I just wasn't sure if he's gonna... Um, or if he's... Yeah, if he was gonna use the Valkyrie on top of the Little Prince, I was like, okay, maybe he's gonna use the Valkyrie on top of our Goblin Barrel. So then this way it wouldn't really have been uh, worth it. But yeah, knowing the situation now, I think maybe next time we could definitely go or at least try to prediction look. Okay, looks like he goes with Dark Goblin. One of the Wallbreakers actually gets a connection, so that's very good for us. And then here we can go with a Knight, and then afterwards we can go with a Goblin Gang to try and counter as good as possible his Skelly Bro. Should get a little bit of chip damage, but then we're going to get a nice counter push going here. Okay, perfect. He's probably going to Valkyrie on top of that. There you go. Let's go with Little Prince. And I feel like his, uh, or our Little Prince, whenever his Valkyrie is out of cycle, is really annoying for him. So let's see how he's going to defend this. I'm going to pop the ability. Knowing that he has Skarmy, I kind of want to go, uh, yeah, lock prediction. Nice, very good lock. And then the Warden, he's probably going to have to spend like a Dark Goblin off to the side, or it's going to get a lot of damage. Okay, it's actually going to get a ton of damage. He decides to lay Dark Goblin, while the Warden already got so much damage on top of his tower. Let's keep under pressure by going Goblin Barrel, and then I'm going to have my Goblin Gang ready just in case he decides to go with his own Barrel. Okay, looks like he spends his Valkyrie. Let's keep under pressure here. Nice, perfect. I'm going to go with my Little Prince right side. I'm going to go Knight. I'm going to pop the ability now, knowing that he has Skarmy. There you go, very good prediction. Didn't hit all the skeletons, but still um, get good amount of chip damage. Good pressure as well. Let's go Goblin Gang now on top of the Dark Goblin. And we just need to take down the left side tower, to be honest. I think we should be able to... Yeah, maybe outcycle him at some point. Okay, let's keep up the pressure. With this deck, even though we didn't really deal any damage to the right side, I think it's still good to keep up the pressure. Okay, let's go Goblin Barrel here. Let's go with Prince at the Bridge, knowing that he's gonna scar me. And that should be pretty much good game. Let's see if one of the Goblins... Okay, the Goblins don't get a connection. But the Princess is locked onto the tower and will be able to take down his left side tower. So very, very nice game. Kind of a mirror match. Not really, because we did have very different decks. But it was, I guess, like a bait versus bait mirror. Or not a mirror, but like a bait versus bait matchup. So let's go. We got to League 8. Not sure if level 15. I think level 15 is from League 8. So we're actually going to try this deck, even though we don't have all the cards level 15 in League 8 as well. As I said, yesterday on my main account, I got to like top 60, top 50 in the world with this deck without having the rest goals and without having the Goblin Gang um, get level 15. So I think even if you guys don't have this deck like fully maxed out, but you have at least like some cards maxed out, I think it still should be able to, yeah, work pretty well for you guys. Okay, let's go with Goblin Barrel right side. Okay, looks like this guy is actually level 14. He doesn't even have the towers level 15. He goes Bomb Tower plus Bar Barrel. First thing, or first deck I'm thinking about after seeing Bar Barrel and Bomb Tower is Balloon. Okay, yeah. Thinking about Balloon, I was about to say is Balloon, and he goes Balloon plus Ice Column at the bridge. This is gonna be a very easy defense for us since we have Resco, since we have Princess, Balloon. Oh, it still gets a shot. Okay. I wasn't expecting the shot. Uh, therefore, I actually missed time my ability on the right side. Still should be fine because the Warning is getting onto the tower. Resco girls on the left side are getting a ton of damage as well. And then he has Firecracker in there. That's actually interesting. I think it's the first time I see this deck um, played with Firecracker. Like it's Yushi or Musketeer or uh, Little Prince nowadays. Okay, he tries to block the... Um, or avoid the King Tower activation. We still get the King Tower activation. So let's go Wallbreak his left side. And then with the King Tower activation, I think from now on we shouldn't really have trouble... Um, or any problem defending the Balloon, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna go Goblin Barrel like this. Firecracker is gonna be annoying for us because we only have the Lock as a spell. Okay, nice. One of the Goblins got a shot, so the Lock is actually gonna kill it in this situation. And I'm not sure if he's running the Firecracker as an evolution. Didn't really pay close attention, to be honest. Okay, let's go Princess Bridge here. Let's have Goblin getting ready just in case he Bar Barrels. Um, let's see. Looks like he doesn't really want to. Okay, he goes Snowball. We can cycle our Knight to start cycling towards the Evil Knight. We just need to, yeah, cycle one more. So let's go Little Prince here. I'm gonna keep up the pressure by going Wallbreakers as well. Knowing that he doesn't have Snowball on Cycle, I'm not really too worried about him resetting our Little Prince. So we should be able to defend that pretty, yeah, easy here. And I'm actually gonna keep up the pressure on both sides. Goblin Barrel right side, Goblin Gang left side. In the meantime, the Knight plus the Little Prince plus the ability should be able to take down the right side there. There you go. We take down the right side tower. He does have the Evil Cracker, so we do need to watch out with that because, as I said, we only have a Lock as a spell, but I think we should be fine, to be honest. Okay, Little Prince gets a good amount of damage on the King Tower as well. I wonder if the Lock kills it in this situation. Okay, it does kill it. That's actually really good for us. Let's go Rescos here on top of the Balloon. Let's go with Little Prince as well. I'm gonna go Wallbreakers just to keep the pressure while defending. And then the Balloon still gets a shot. Okay, wow. His Balloons are actually getting shots with like 0.1 HP. But we still should be fine. Look at the amount of damage we dealt to the left side. 
Um, we are gonna get a bit of chip damage here. I'm gonna... Okay, I tried to pop the ability. Looks like we didn't get it. At least we got the elixir back, so that's good for us. Let's go with Princess. We just need to survive 10 seconds, so I think I'm just gonna knight here. I'm gonna... Wait a little bit, rest calls, yeah, that's gonna be a good game. I think he already gave up because he threw the miner and the balloon basically um, yeah, on his side of the arena. So very nice victory there against kind of a strange balloon deck. I feel like it was just a typical balloon deck, but instead of running it with Musketeer and for example Evolution Skeletons, he was actually running it with the Evolution Firecracker plus an Ice Spirit. I guess an interesting change. I'm not a big fan of that because we got a really nice um, and easy King Tower activation. And then afterwards the balloon is just... Yeah, well, it's still got a hit sometimes, but then it's just easier to defend it in general. Okay, hopping into the third or fourth match. I don't remember actually. I think it's the fourth match already. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm already getting old. So yeah, let's go with Knight here. Looks like he uses his arrow so we can maybe get a nice um, Goblin Barrel going. On the right side okay he has goblins he also has dark goblin goblin bro actually got a good amount of damage so that's good for us and then afterwards i guess we can okay i'm gonna rescos here he wasted his arrows so i think we should actually also be able to go with a goblin gang just to keep under pressure and then also take down his dark goblin as soon as possible so he goes with his own goblin gang i'm assuming it's um like a bait yeah i think it's the royal recruits bait deck like, it actually doesn't have a win condition, it just has a ton of spammy cards, like, for example, Skelly Barrel. Um, I think it has Wall Breakers in there, and then just a ton of Goblins, plus the Recruits. And he's running it with Arrows, so we do need to watch out. Usually this deck is run, uh, or usually people run it with Fireball. I guess Arrows is gonna be a little bit rougher, but anyways, should be able to play, um, yeah, well with his cycle. The good thing of him having Arrows, it's gonna be really annoying for our, him to deal with our Little Prince. So I think the Little Prince should be able to be the MVP of this match, or oh, really nice connection there on the right side, Wallbreakers do end up um, connecting to the right side tower and then also get a ton of damage on top of the Goblins. Okay, let's go Goblin Gang like this, let's go Little Prince, just to make sure we don't get too much damage or we don't take too much damage by his Skelly Barrel, and then let's see what he's gonna do here. Knowing that he has Mighty Miner, I actually wanna go like this, I think it's gonna be a kind of annoying push for him to defend. Okay, he goes for recruits. I don't know if he has enough Elixir right now, Wait, game is closing for a short maintenance break. Please tell me that it's gonna be... Okay, yeah, it should be after this game. I don't know why for one second I thought I was gonna close my game while playing. So luckily for us, they do allow us to at least finish the match. But that does mean that this is gonna be the last game for today's video. I think it's anyways a pretty decent video. So let's go Wallbreak is here at the bridge. Let's see if we can um, yeah, win. We took down the right side tower very easily, by the way. We just need to survive 40 more seconds. Okay, let's go Little Prince here. Gonna go Goblin Gang off to the side. He goes with his evil recruits, but I don't think um, yeah, they're gonna be a problem. We have a lot of spammy cards, like or cards which are good against spammy cards. We have Little Prince plus ability. We have the Princess. And then in general, we also have a lot of cards to like distract his uh, spam cards, like Goblin Gang, Rascal, stuff like that. Okay, Princess here. Evil Knight on the left side, doing a pretty good job against the um, Mighty Miner. Do need to watch out here with the Skellies. I'm just gonna Knight to block most of the Skeletons. Well, the tower plus the princess is gonna clean it up and that should pretty much be good game there's not much time left only eight seconds left so let's go with goblin barrel let's go with goblin gang wall breakers but anyways as i said not that much time left wall breakers one of them actually ended up connecting wall breakers are so strong in my opinion they fit very well on bait just because many times they force out um yeah a spell and then afterwards you can take advantage of the bait card you have and if they don't force out a spell they yeah get a lot of damage and get a lot of value. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I actually wanted to play a few more matches, but as you guys saw, there's gonna be a maintenance break right now. So I guess that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.